Hello Internet friends, it's Tim Schrock from Design Build Solutions bringing you today's Tech Tip Tuesday. Today I want to talk about auto story pole dimensions on this barn I'm drawing right here. So let's get started. Yes, auto story pole dimensions. I'm working in Chief Architect Premier version X13 on a Windows 10 PC. I want to show you this that I just learned. I've never um, I never knew this before about auto story pole dimensions, so I'm going to have to check if it works in X12 or not. But when I click on this auto story pole dimensions here, you'll notice, uh, let's get a, a quick 3D view so you can see what's going on. I've got a... Uh, piece of this over here that is an 8 foot ceiling and then the middle section is a 16 foot ceiling and then my 8 foot ceiling again over here so it's um and it's all on one story one floor uh all on floor one so it makes sense that chief is going to see this plate and not this plate but i want to add a plate up here I'm going to select this outer dimension and notice that I can add a dimension tool just like in my standard dimension. Now I've drawn a um, I've drawn a line at 8 feet and drawn another line at 16 feet. What I did was I drew a CAD line, uh, locked the length and angle and set the Y position at 16 feet give it a phantom line and a, and a thicker line weight. So I can just dimension right to that line, that CAD line there. And notice my 16 feet with this marker shows up right here. Well, this marker, I'm going to hit the space bar to go to my select objects mode and click in there. When I click right next to the marker, you see the little number three right there and this squared um, grab handle. Now I can move this grab handle over. Technically, I can grab that handle down and move it up if I wanted to do that, or make it straight. I can extend the length or shorten the length of it. I'm going to try to line it up pretty close here so it's even with these. And then I'm going to double click on this to open the dimension line specification. Notice the number three corresponds to this selected extension number three and I can uh, add this text to the marker as well top of plate okay so I've got top of plate top of plate but I don't really want this to be noted as top of subfloor first floor so I'm going to double click on this square grab handle here and once again this number one corresponds correlates to selected extension number one if i wanted to switch to number three i could change this up here or switch to number one and i'm just going to call this grade now this is dimensioning up to my um my construction line uh call outs and i don't want that so i'm just going to pull this off of that Actually, I'm going to select, instead of selecting the handles here by the markers, I need to select the dimension tool and pull that square diamond off, and that deletes it. There's some quick tips on auto story pull dimensions. I hope that helps. I'm going to check out X12 and see if this does it as well real quick. Be right back and let you know. So I quickly created a similar situation in X12. Let's see what Auto Story Pull Dimensions does in elevation here. Once again, I have the um, situation where it skipped the 16 foot. So I'm going to draw a CAD line at 16 feet, lock the length and angle, change the Y position to 192 inches, select this outer dimension. And let's add that. Click close to the marker, and I still have that red 
handle as if I'm editing a um, endpoint or a extension of the of the uh, dimension tool and I can drag that over I can move it up or down double click on it So it's, it also works in X12. I hope you've learned something today. If you've enjoyed this or uh, learned something about auto story pull dimensions, go ahead and click that like down there. Hit the subscribe button for more videos each week as I release them. Click some of these videos for more Tech Tip Tuesday videos or check out other Chief Architect Users YouTube videos as well. Take care.